What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy, and I'm coming at you with another video. And when it comes to Sydney Sweeney, uh, she's honestly a universally loved individual. And I can think of like three reasons as to why people love her so much. Uh, two of them are very specific. And then also the fact that she doesn't take herself serious. Like she is, she knows who she is. She knows what people want. She's very down to earth. She likes to have fun. And you can see it right here in this variety article, Sydney Sweeney unfazed by Madam Web Flop. I was just hired as an actress in it. I was along for the ride for whatever was going to happen. People love Sydney Sweeney. She's just a likable individual. She doesn't go out there and try to proselytize to you about any sort of political agenda. She doesn't try to act like she's better than you. She doesn't try to do a darn thing and just she's out there to have fun. She's out there to do a good job. She's out there to entertain you, to actually pursue her good career. And all at the same time, when it came to, you, you know, the Madam Web movie that was a, an abysmal failure and a monumental flop, the things that came out of it because of Madam Web was things like Sydney Sweeney. People gravitated towards her. Audiences gravitated towards her because of her personality, because of the way she treated people, because of how she treats the internet, she treats the media. Heck, you can come over here to NBC. Sydney Sweeney says that starring in Madam Web was a strategic business decision. And I, I don't blame her. I mean, yeah, it was a business decision. Now look at you. You're one of the most beloved actresses out there right now because of how you responded to the media, because you how you acted on the red carpet, because of all these things. People adore you right now, and I don't blame them. I, I myself very much am a huge fan of you, Sydney. So it's kind of cathartic to see stories like this pop up from pop crave the entire industry all people say is women empowering other women none of it's happening all of it is fake and a front for all the other ish that they say behind everyone's back Sydney Sweeney to Variety. Now there's a brand new Variety Girl article coming out, but mainly because uh, Euphoria is on its way out. There's also, I, I think her new movie's on the way out as well, talking about the, the that boxer movie. I'm not quite sure on that or how far that's going out, but Euphoria is on the way back, a show that she stars in, and she's going around doing the rounds, trying to promote it. And there was a big Variety article written about her right now. But when we come over here to Deadline, because they have the exact quotes that I want to get to right now instead of the massive Variety article, she said a lot more than just what she said there. Uh, Sydney Sweeney calls out Hollywood Industries' women empowering other women stance, all of it's fake, which 100% it is. So, uh, Hollywood is a din of backstabbing thieves that just are out for themselves constantly. And you might have had the whole Me Too movement, but let's not mince words here. The Me Too movement was just a power grab after the ousting of individuals like Harvey Weinstein, rightfully so, mind you. Uh, it was just a major power grab in order to propel very vile individuals into positions of power that openly uh, uh, supports a certain agenda the entire time that ended up basically ushering in this brand new era of Hollywood that is disgusting, disturbing, and is only out for the upper echelons. But let's see what Sydney Sweeney actually had to say, shall we? Sydney Sweeney is calling out to some people in the Hollywood industry who tear another woman down privately while publicly proclaiming they are empowering women. By the way, believe all women. In an interview, the Immaculate Star cited the industry's attitude of women empowering other women as untrue. It's very disheartening to see women tear other women down. Sweeney said in an interview with Vanity Fair, especially when women who are successful in other avenues of the industry see younger talent working really hard, hoping to achieve whatever dreams that they may have, and then trying to bash and discredit any work that they've done. Now, this is true. 
And we've seen this a couple times. We've seen this with how people interact with each other. You see this uh, all over the place. Hollywood is a den of thieves that just virtue signal all day and night and only care about themselves. They are nothing more than narcissistic freaks that put, hide behind, you know, virtue signaling, woke ideology and things like that to try to uh, proselytize and moralize to you and grandstand to you when behind the scenes they're doing things with Diddy. So I don't want to hear it from a lot of people, but this is a perfect reason as to why people like Sydney Sweeney. She tells it as it is. She comes out here and says the truth that they'll come out here. They'll look at you in the eye. They'll, they'll, they'll have go on like the view or something like that, or go on SNL and go like, we believe all women. We stand for all women. Well, at the same time, they're going to stab in the back. They're going to throw them down on the ground. If you're getting too big for your britches, you are a pariah and you must get taken down. Take a look at how they treated Gina Carano, for example, or take a look at Rachel Zegler right now as Rachel Zegler goes up on that Hollywood ladder, even though all of her movies flop and how vile and disgusting she is. When you take a look at the people that truly rise through Hollywood ranks, they are the people that outwards will say whatever they need to say, but behind the scenes, they're going to be out those ditty parties going da -da 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 the entire time. And I love, 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 love Sydney Sweeney just calling it all out. She continued, this entire industry of people saying is women empowering other women. None of it's happening. All of it is fake and a front for all the other ish that they say behind everyone's back. Sweeney noted that there are so many studios and different opinions on the reasoning behind it and said that it's a generation problem to believe only one woman can be at the top. Huh. Only one woman can be at the top. And that doesn't really shock me considering... Let's also not hide the fact that uh, women are awful to each other. Women do treat each other with kind of a disgust and disrespect on almost every little thing that they do. All you have to do is actually work with a bunch of women. You realize, man, they're kind of catty towards one another, but it, it keeps getting better. There's one woman who can get the man. There's one woman who can be, I don't know anything, she said. So then all the others feel like they have to fight each other or take that one woman down instead of being like, let's all lift each other up. I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm just trying my best over here. Why am I getting attacked? And for those of you who don't remember, uh, some of this is also like a response to uh, Carolyn Baum. Now, I do remember this Carolyn Baum woman coming out here who's a uh, producer and some sort of executive within Hollywood. I don't remember what company she worked for and stuff like that. And I remember this article, but I couldn't find it beforehand. But I do have like Sydney Sweeney's response. But Carolyn Baum came out here and outright said, Sydney Sweeney is not pretty and can't act. Now, she's a decent actress. I'm not going to lie. I've liked what some of her work that she's done outside of Madam Web. Uh, she's done a good job. She's grown her career. She has worked hard to get to where she is right now. And um, to say that she's not pretty, well, that is entirely untrue because we could just go off of uh, two very, very uh, uh, good reasons as to why she is pretty. But um, she's beautiful. She's a beautiful actress and she has worked hard to get to where she is right now she has worked hard to grow to where she is and guess what one of the things that really helped her out was not taking herself too seriously she ingratiated herself with the audience she ingratiated herself with the fans and she made it to a point to to do that and to show people hey i'm pretty grounded because that was important that was good to see. That was something that people really liked. People like turning on, you know, her, her Instagram or going to YouTube and seeing her working on her cars. People like seeing her do all this everyday stuff. She knows how to market herself really well. She knows what she needs to do because she doesn't take herself too seriously. And it's nice seeing people like Sydney Sweeney out there. It's nice seeing people like Gina Carano out there. It's nice seeing actresses and actors out there, you know, Zachary Levi, Chris Pratt, some of these actors and actresses that 
don't take themselves too seriously and aren't trying to come out here and say that they're better than you because they know what people want. They know what people like. People like good actors and actresses, and people are going to gravitate towards those good actors and actresses that aren't going to come out here and try to act like they're better than you. And Sydney Sweeney's one of those actresses that aren't going to come out here and try to say that she lives a morally superior life than you because she knows she's just another person. And that's what people like, and that's what people care about her. And I love seeing her come out here and just slam Hollywood for how hypocritical they truly are when they come out here and say, we believe all women, and we'll go behind the scenes with Rachel Zegler and fire Gina Carano for doing absolutely nothing. But I'm going to leave it there. Let me get you guys' thoughts on all of this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Shout out to friends, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video go live, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.